The Epley maneuver is used to treat posterior canal BPPV. To understand which side to turn the head to begin the Epley maneuver, one key piece of information is required. Which ear is the problem? To answer this question, the Dix Hallpike maneuver is first performed. While sitting up, turn your head 45 degrees to one side. Then quickly lay down such that the head is tilted back 30 degrees. A pillow positioned behind the shoulders can help achieve the proper angle. Hold this position for 30 seconds. Sit back up. Now turn the head 45 degrees to the opposite side and lay down, again with the head tilted back 30 degrees. Hold this position for 30 seconds. If you have posterior canal BPPV, the eyeballs should twitch diagonally with a slight rotation that slowly disappears within 30 seconds. This eyeball twitching motion, known as nystagmus, will occur most severely on the side of the culprit ear. In this video example, the Dix Hallpike maneuver triggered a significant nystagmus when the head was turned to the right side. As such, the Epley maneuver begins with a 45 degree head turned to the right. The body is then laid down with the head tilted back 30 degrees. Hold this position for 30 seconds or until the induced nystagmus and vertigo resolve. Next, turn the head 90 degrees such that the head is now turned 45 degrees to the left. The head is still tilted back 30 degrees. Hold this position for 30 seconds or until the nystagmus and vertigo resolve. Next, turn the entire body onto the left side. Because the head is still turned 45 degrees to the left, this results in the head facing down towards the floor. Keep the head tilted back 30 degrees. Again, hold this position for 30 seconds or until the induced nystagmus and vertigo resolve. Finally, sit back up with the head in a neutral position which completes the Epley maneuver. Let's repeat this same maneuver from a different camera angle. The Epley maneuver begins with a 45-degree head turned to the right because the culprit ear was the right side as determined by the Dix Hallpike maneuver. The body is then laid down with the head tilted back 30 degrees. Hold this position for 30 seconds or until the induced nystagmus and vertigo resolve. Next, turn the head 90 degrees such that the head is now turned 45 degrees to the left. The head is still tilted back 30 degrees. Hold this position for 30 seconds or until the nystagmus and vertigo resolve. Next, turn the entire body onto the left side. Because the head is still turned 45 degrees to the left, this results in the head facing down towards the floor. Keep the head tilted back 30 degrees. Again, hold this position for 30 seconds or until the induced nystagmus and vertigo resolve. Finally, Sit back up with the head in a neutral position which completes the Epley maneuver. If the left ear is the culprit side instead of the right, the Epley maneuver is performed with each step in the reverse direction, starting with a head turned to the left instead of the right. 